What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC here. So today, part three of the Super Claw Buster build. Now, just kind of let you guys know, I did do some switching around, which would be the Synchro Kyosho radio here. I did switch it out just because the Traxxas one wasn't, it was giving me a little bit of a problem uh, as far as reversing things. So um, this is the front of the vehicle that we're looking at on the motor. So as far as how the colors go, like yellow goes to yellow, and then the green goes to the blue wire on the electronic speed controller. Now the thing is in, is in reverse in the rear. So yellow would go to blue and then the yellow would go to the uh, green. Something like that, yeah. So anyway, um, you get the idea. If you got one of these, you know, as far as how that's the way I did it, it worked for me. Now, I'm thinking of as far as when it comes to a paint scheme, something patriotic potentially on that part of it. And I like to maybe do a hydro dip. So it's just dipping the whole entire thing painting it up that way or putting that film on there and kind of good to go because I'm not really into the whole super detail around these lights and everything. I'm Speaking of lights, I might put some LEDs on it, at least in the front because the rear doesn't really have that. But you can see like the little buckets there for some LEDs and I got some off to the side. So I might put those in there as well. It would be cool to put like some kind of little, I don't know, an interior in here. That'd be kind of cool. But anyway, enough of that. That's kind of letting you guys know where I'm at with it. Maybe I'll do some kind of voting thing. You guys can pick. Hey, we'll see who, who likes the best. So like if we go, oh, classic theme, we go with patriotic or something else. Zombie apocalypse. I don't know. Something like that. Maybe I'll come up with some other thing or other, and then we'll see what those others are. Or you guys can leave a comment down below like what you might want to see on this vehicle. Nothing crazy because, you know, as far as painting, I like to paint one color or the hydro dipping, something like that. So you guys can let me know on that part of it. Anyway, uh. Let's get this thing going. All right, so I picked all of my parts. This is on page 18 here. So we've got everything good to go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse it. All right, so on to page 19. Just wrapping this thing up now. Got the bumper, rear bumper, so this is gonna be, now this little supercharger here, this is an option, uh, just because of the fact that I went with the larger one that's already on the vehicle itself. That's why I went with that one, but you do have the option of a lower profile one. So anyway, that's why I had it in the parts list, or in that parts. Anyway, got the grill and everything ready to go. Everything's good. So I'll go ahead and time lapse this part of it. But yeah, anyway, I'll show you that as far as how everything's mounted. All right, guys, there it is. You know, without the stickers as of yet. But I threw some headlights on it, so I think it looks really sick like this. It's looking dope, that's for sure. Definitely digging it. It's a cool looking truck, man, I don't know. You know, for all you guys, maybe you're like, ah, I don't really care for it, but for me, I think it looks cool. Lots of different, it's got quite a bit of detail to it anyhow. 
the supercharger on there, that grill. It would be cool if they would have had the bow tie, but I know they did that a long time, got away with that a long time ago because of licensing. But anyway, uh, I love the tires on this thing too. Pretty big monster tires anyway. Let's get this thing out there and do some running. Mm -hmm. 